Uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about once we have the Docker image running and the code is kind of converted to in the Docker container and we want to push it to Docker Hub in order to host it over there. What we can do is like, um, again, just giving it a, a background here. If I ls on the images, you can see that I do have two images, uh, two Docker images uh, to do list Python app and the getting started. And if I do uh, an ls on the container, uh, you can see that again, I do have two containers running. So what I wanted to do is to share this container uh, to do list Python app uh, to my personal uh, uh, Docker hub. In order to make that work, right, uh, what we're going to be doing is first we're going to be uh, pushing it, right? So in order, the command is docker push and then you're going to have your username and then uh, to do list python app. So the, uh, the image does not exist locally with the tag, this one, right? So what we need to do is, okay, that this is where we want to push it, but what exactly, this is the destination location. We also need to give him the source location, which is that, uh, and again, we are, uh, we're pushing the image. Just remember that, uh, to do list uh, Python app. There is one more problem in here. Uh, we need to so we did Docker push come and to do list Python app. In the default tag, let us push reference to the repository. This one, an image does not exist locally with the tag, this one. So now it is pushing in because denied request, uh, access to the resources denied. So I think I need to log in first for that. I'm just gonna be doing docker login uh, you know, with the username. And I'm gonna be putting in my password here. Noggin is successful. I want to do this and come on to do list Python app. I need to tag it first, docker tag, and then in order to tag it, I will say docker tag, and then the to do list python app should be common slash to do list python app now all i need to do to push it should be the username and the name of the app This time it did not complain about that and it is in fact pushing it to the git hub and we're gonna be confirming that in a moment. 
just so that you know that this one is like this is the application I wasn't able to show you uh, in the previous videos as the browser was not working inside the terminal so basically, basically this is a to-do application uh, you can say maybe dinner yesterday add an item then dinner maybe lunch uh, today and dinner tonight maybe this is completed where we still have to do these things so that's the kind of application we have and right now I do not have anything in the uh, get in the sorry in the docker hub uh, this application I do not have that uh, common slash uh, that app so if I refresh that I can just see that I was successfully able to uh, I was success successfully able to push the, the application to do list Python app and if I wanna instead of like running it locally you can log in and start so this is a uh, play with docker.com an instance of your playground session and all the instances are deleted after this hours add instance to your workspace really I know that part but no connection to the server Yeah, for some reason this one doesn't work when it is uh, like so strange. When the <laughs> the browser window is so small, you can't even see on the left hand side. Uh, you can't see that uh, like adding the new instance session. So I'm gonna I have to expand it. You won't be able to see it now. I can see it. So I'm gonna be adding an instance here uh, and. once I add the instance right so yeah now if I go back it lets me do that no did not that's not what I wanted to do yeah you can't even access that for some reason reason over here so this is uh, running on the play with the docker docker container ls don't have it but docker container sorry image image ls I do not have that either Just delete that. So basically, uh, like my expectations were like, you can actually, um, basically you can actually like enter into that directly and like you can associate any of the images over here but that's not the case they just give you uh, a session and just like the regular uh, docker you're gonna be saying docker run and then the, the name of the application uh, like you will say dp uh, maybe we want to run it on 4001 or maybe 4056 
and the application is 3000 then I'm gonna be getting it from common slash uh, the the name of the app was um, to do uh, list and then uh, it was Python app and it's gonna be actually pulling it uh, from the uh, this repo and this is the name of the application so this does two things as we did talk about it in the first video that this application run normally is used when we are actually running the container but because uh, we do not have any image already created so it actually does two things for you uh, can I I can't even level okay how can I scroll this thing oh my goodness I can't even see that can I clear it can I clear it yes okay docker image ls so we have that and docker uh, container ls and we have that container now if you open the port what port would you like to open if you go here it's basically running on that machine and you can see that we are actually running uh, where, which uh, the docker play with docker uh, machine they have provided we are actually running over there on its port so that is a really good feature feature you don't need to have a computer like you don't have to actually uh, run the docker images on your personal computer they can let you try it out for four hours um, so this is how you would publish your image and people can actually use that image run it over there on a particular port stuff like that and again I don't know if I complete the sentence or not uh, so what I was saying is like docker run does two things for you one for the uh, creates the image if it is not found locally and then runs it um, basically con making the container that's all I wanted to cover in this video uh, yes that's all I wanted to cover thanks for watching